how to create your online free website using Wix.com. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to create your online website using Wix and their artificial design intelligence. So let's get started. First off, you're just going to click on get started on Wix.com and then it will lead you to their login page. If you don't have an account, just click on sign up and it's very easy to sign up. You just need to put in your email password or you can even link your Facebook, Google or Apple account on Wix. So I am just going to log in. Once you have logged in, this will be your basic dashboard. So over here, you can see your sites that you have created. This is your explore page. This is your help tab. And then you have a hire a professional option. So I am just going to let you guys see how the artificial design intelligence on Wix works and how efficient it really is. So to create a new site, you're just going to click on my sites and then create a new site over here. Once you click on that, Wix will lead you to its free website builder. And then they are going to ask you what kind of website you are creating. So let's just say I am creating a online blog and it is a poetry blog. So I'm just going to click on next and you can skip this information, but I would definitely recommend putting it in because we are using the ADI. So previously I've shown you guys how to create a website using a template. The link for that will be in the description box down below. But right now I'm going to show you how to use the artificial design intelligence. So over here, you will click on start now. And now Wix is going to ask you a couple of questions. So what kind of website or blog do you want to create? So you're going to click on the features that you want to integrate into your blog. So if you want a chatting feature, a subscribe form, if you also want to display your Instagram feed, or if you want to add forums for your community to start discussions and more. So I'm just going to add forms. Below that, what kind of features do you want in your website? So you can add online programs, groups, online stores, bookings, pricing plans, table reservations, restaurant menus, food orders, music, videos, events, and bands in town. So let's just say I just want communities and I just want bookings. And then we're going to click on next. Now you're going to add your poetry or whatever kind of website name that you want or business name that you have. We're going to add trending poetry. You're going to click on next. Now, if you have a existing website, you can copy that over here. Or if you have a, a pop-up store or a retail store, you're going to add that over here. But I'm going to skip that. And now you can add a logo for your website. Below that, you have to enter your address, phone, and fax number if you actually still use fax. But once I do that, I will get back to you guys in a minute. And once you have entered your personal details, Wix is going to ask you what kind of theme do you want to opt for on your website. So since we are doing a poetry website, we might want to make it look classic. We're going to click on continue. Once you have done that, Wix will actually give you a few homepage designs. So you can pick any of these. I'm, I really like this one actually, so I'm going to go with it. And now you can add pages to your site. So if your home button leads somewhere else, your shop leads somewhere else, um, all of that, you can add those pages. So first off, you have your about section, you have your contact section, you have your Instagram feed, and you also have a blank page to edit. So let's make sure we add the about and the contact. And then we are going to get started on editing our site. And the artificial design intelligence provided by Wix is actually working right now. So it might take a few minutes for your pages and your website to get loaded. So don't worry about that if it's taking time. It just takes this time because the AI is just customizing your page and putting in the efficient and relevant content into your page that you might want to display. And once it does that, you just have to do some minor touch ups and you are going to be ready to go. So just wait a couple of minutes for this to actually uh, do its thing, do its work, and then we will get on the editing page. And now your website has been loaded. So as you can see over here, our name, our basic options, our welcome page. Below that, we have our post. After that, you have your thank you and subscription. And below that, you have your contact form. And now you can see it's 
pretty well designed. There are just very few aspects that even I would like to edit over here. Maybe just this. I can customize this. Just click on the block that you might want to change and manage this. Now, if I don't like the design on this, so I really don't like this uh, list kind of view, I can actually change it to any of these layouts that are just, I just selected this section, clicked on design, and on the left side, you can see there are different kinds of layouts that are provided. So I think this kind of layout actually looks better. I'm just going to select that. And you can see now that this layout has been provided. And now I'm just going to cut this out, cut this and it has been changed to the way that I like it. Now you can add a section to your pages or you can add more pages or applications. So for this website, if I have maybe a e-commerce store, I'm just gonna click on add, I'm gonna click on apps and I'm just gonna link that e-commerce store. Now you can also connect your domain or just use the standard domain provided by Wix. And just to show you guys some more customization that you can do, is if you want to add something between these two pages, you can click on add new section here. Now you're going to click on what kind of section do you want? Do you want it to be a text image video? Maybe you just want team members to be listed over here or facts and questions, maybe a list, maybe anything that is relevant or special you might want to add to the top. Um, let's just say, I am going to add a text or a image. Maybe I'm going to add this image on this new section that I am creating. Now I'm going to add a title on it. I'm going to edit this to say sale on and Barnes and Noble on all books. And below that, you're just going to add your subtitle or your paragraph. I'm only adding the subtitles and now you can even add a button below it so if you are going to add a button you can just add a shop now button and then you can link this uh, book page that I have mentioned over here into this uh, button but for now I'm just doing this to give you guys a sample so I'm not really going to link the Barnes & Noble uh, link so once I have done that and it's auto saving for me so I don't have to worry about any of my changes remaining unsaved. Wix auto saves them and you can even undo them as you wish. So if you really don't like it, you can just undo it. Another great function about this artificial intelligence is that you can just move things around, not have to worry about it all and just say, I don't like this section that I've added. I don't want it to be on the top. Maybe I want to drag it down. So I can just click on this downward arrow. It says move down and it will just move my section down one block. And if I want to take it to the bottom, I can just do that or I can move up any of the sections. So maybe I want my subscription form to be up and my items or posts to be below that. So I can just add that over here. And just like that, I have created my own website. I can just take a nice preview of my website. Now, this is just going to show me what my website is going to look like once I publish it. And to view what it will actually look like on mobile devices, you can see at the top right, you have this option of desktop. You're gonna click on mobile and it's going to show you what your website is gonna look on mobile phones. So this is taking a minute, so I'm sorry about that. You can see the Wix.com AI is actually just adding these features and just tailoring it by itself. I don't have to worry about the nitty gritty and the tiny details. I just have to polish it up on the top. That's it. Everything else is just done by the AI itself. So you don't have to worry. You can see in the background that it's uh, resizing the text and making it fit the mobile screen size, which is pretty good. So you can just see over here, they're giving a mobile view of your website. And now I am going to publish my website. Once you click on publish your website, it's going to ask you if you have your own domain. So if you do, you can add that. I'm just going to use the free wix.com domain and you can add your website name or URL name, whatever you want it to be. I'm just going to say books, books, books. I'm going to publish and continue. And just like that, you have created your online website. Let's view our website that we have created. 
And over here, you can see our website is up and running. It is a functional website. So that is it for today. I hope you guys found this video useful and you can now use the Wix AI to design your website without having to worry about hiring someone creative to do all the handiwork for you. The AI will just finish all of your work for you. So I will catch you guys in the next video.